Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to attempt to come up with an evaluation of this infinite sum. The strategy is to find a way to write this as an infinite summation and then compare it to something that we know in the Maclaurin series, something that looks close and we're going to try to make it look exactly like that. So here we can see that the signs alternate, minus, plus, minus, and so forth. So that means we're going to need an infinite sum of minus 1 to the n or n minus 1 from n equals 0 or 1 to infinity. Now the reason I said 0 or 1 is that depends upon whether or not we have that initial first constant term. But I see 1 over 3, 1 over 3 squared, 1 over 3 cubed. That looks like we don't have the initial constant, so we're going to need n minus 1 and start at n equals 1. So that means when n equals 1, which is the first value for n, 1 minus 1 is 0, minus 1 to the 0 power is, is a plus 1, and so therefore we have the first term as being plus, and then every consecutive term will then alternate from plus to minus to plus and so forth. Now we also see that we have 1 over 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 3, so this increases as n increases, so that means we need a 1 over n, so that will take care of the 1 over 1, 1 over 2, 1 over 3. And then we have the 3 to the first power. We can put a 1 there. 3 to the second, 3 to the third, and so forth. So we can write this as a 1 over 3 to the nth power. Now we're looking better. Now I'm going to write this as a little bit different. I'm going to write this as the infinite sum from n equals 1 to infinity of minus 1 to the n minus 1 times 1 over 3 to the n power divided by n. Now the reason why I wanted to write it like that because that begins to look a lot like something we're familiar with. Take a look at this. How about the infinite sum from n equals 1 to infinity of minus 1 to the n minus 1 power times x to the n divided by n. Now that should look familiar to most of us. That is actually the infinite sum representing the natural log of 1 plus x. So now take a look at what we have over there versus what we have over here. So we have everything the same almost. We have the infinite sum from 1 to infinity of minus 1 to the n minus 1 power divided by n, but instead of x, we have one-third. In other words, this is equal to this for x being equal to one-third. So what we have to do then is replace the infinite sum here. We replace x by one-third, which means we replace x by one-third here, and we get the same thing that we have over here. So therefore, this is equal to the natural log of 1 plus, instead of x, we write 1 third, which is equal to the natural log of 4 thirds, which means that the infinite sum that we started with is actually equal to the natural log of 4 thirds. And then, of course, we just need a calculator. We can figure that out, what that is equal to. 4 divided by 3, take the natural log of that, and it's 0 point, well, let's say to five decimal places, it would be 0 point 28768. Uh, and if we were to go ahead and evaluate this infinite sum and we just keep adding every one of these terms together, eventually we'll get something that looks like that. And that's one way in which you can evaluate an infinite sum like that using the Maclaurin series. And that's how it's done.